the cost of your next car is going to be much more expensive. Why is this? Well, the Biden administration has announced tougher fuel mileage standards for passenger vehicles. Now, why does this matter? Well, tougher fuel economy standards for passenger vehicles are a major part of the efforts to curb CO2 output. And the new rules will require passenger vehicles to travel an average of 40 miles per gallon of gasoline by 2026. And they'll be revised much more stringent standards by 2027. So how does this affect you? Well, higher gas prices, higher car prices, the infrastructure bill, which is going to require engine inhibitors to stop drunk drivers, which all comes out of your pocket, which is why you're going to pay more for a vehicle. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time here, we give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications because you don't wanna miss anything. The Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the EPA, finalized the new emission standards on December 20th that will go into effect with the 2023 model year and run through model year 2026. Then the EPA is going to set higher standards for 2027 and later vehicles. This is important news for all automakers, but there are new rules that actually don't affect light trucks We'll talk about that in just a second. But either way, this higher MPG means car prices are going to go up. And the EPA estimates that battery electric vehicles will account for about 8% of all new cars by 2026, or 1 million vehicles. And it wants even more drastic regulations to fight climate change starting in 27, and is now asking for comments from all interested parties. Now is your chance to give your opinion either way. Your voice counts. Now, light duty trucks account for about 16% of the emissions and the EPA's new higher standards doesn't mean automakers can't build those high performance, maybe low fuel economy vehicles. So gas guzzling models and medium duty trucks like the Ford Raptor and the Ram TRX can still be produced to meet customer needs. Yes, I'm happy about that. The key is to avoid those fines and to have the average fuel economy of those vehicles sold per brand to increase to meet the government standards. Otherwise, there's penalties and automakers will build a combination of propulsions to meet customer needs and still attempt to make a profit and retain jobs, which is important. There is a loophole in the new regulations that permit larger vehicles not to meet those new MPGs, at least not yet. Now, vehicles classified as vans, pickup trucks, SUVs, and even some crossovers and light duty trucks that weigh over 10,000 pounds will not be calculated. This is good information to know. So here's the bottom line. Biden wants 50% of all new vehicles sold by 2023 to be electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids. And the EPA's final ruling for greenhouse gas emissions is even more aggressive than originally proposed. And this is requiring a substantial increase in electric vehicle sales, well above the 4% light duty trucks and cars that are sold today. This is with or without EV tax credits. And since manufacturers are not making a profit on electric vehicles, they will raise the price across the board to offset the losses and we will all be paying for it in new vehicles. This may be a reason to maintain your vehicle and keep it longer and get the best value for your ride. Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. If you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have additional questions or comments, because you always do, and I love them, put that right there in the comments below and let's start the conversation. Just remember to be nice. I'm also answering questions on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix. Don't forget to follow me. We'll be putting up some pretty cool car reviews and some new information you won't be seeing anywhere else. There's also more information on the website, carcoachreports.com. It's available in English as well as in Spanish. And if you're still looking for a gift idea, Lauren Fix's guide to loving your car will give you car smarts. The link is down below. I'm also a co-host on the Total Car Score podcast. It's available on all platforms where we go behind the scenes and see how the auto industry ticks and you get to join us. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.